Great. So I've been told I got about 10 minutes for this. Uh, I could spend an hour on each module. So I'm going to try to walk you through it and give you a taste of everything as quickly as I can without going too fast. Uh, we'll start with monitoring what's going on real time in my environment right now so I can troubleshoot faster, reduce trouble tickets, increase the overall uh, user experience of my environment. Then I'll go into analytics where we talk about trending analysis, finding systemic issues, and I want to spend a little bit more time on the room insights, which has been really popular lately. So, all right, here we go. So we're in the monitoring tool here. You'll see dashboards are a big part of the tool here. So um, from what I want to see in real time, Jeff mentioned the knock, right? What kind of experience does the customer knock want? Did they want to see overall bridges and call control up down? Maybe I want to see some CMS uses. We're really big in the CMS environment, right? Um, maybe I want a dashboard specifically for CMS. Show me my meetings across each device, my overall capacity. All of these dashboards are flexible. And not only that, we can actually show you real time as well as back up the clock to show you the experience of, of up to 30 days ago, which I'll show in a moment, which is a little more important. So that's, that's some great info there. Endpoints, right? Huge amount of data here on endpoints. How many do I have? Which ones are up or down? Which ones are in calls? Huge play for us here in Viopta. Touch panels and perif other peripherals, which are up, which are down, right? Talking about camera, microphone, and display, and an overall experience there. Just to give you an idea of what we can show here, right? What about quality experience across the environment? Show me call quality across bridges. And oops, somebody's trying to attempt to annotate. I'm going to decline. Um, and then meeting quality, right? So great. Uh, all that's great on a dashboard and a knock, but how about this? I want to know about these things before I get a ticket, before I get a call from an angry, angry CEO or an exec. All that stuff I just showed you, we can alert on. So bridging, show me my, my CMS uh, license capacity, uh, quality on a particular bridge. But more specifically, I love to show the endpoints. Status down, send me an alert when my touch panel is down for more than seven minutes, right? Uh, maybe I only want to show a couple of endpoints on this alert. I can create as many alerts as I like. I can use custom HTML to assign the priority, to assign the team that this gets sent to, automate my ticketing process. Let me hop over into the live calls, right? We're aggregating all meeting platforms. So if you got telepresence server, CMS all in one place, we're showing it there. Maybe I want to take a look at that executive board meeting that's happening on that CMS bridge. Great. Maybe I'm having some problems from a meeting perspective, but is it all the participants, right? Okay, do I have, okay, we got a few good here and we might have a few, maybe they're joining remotely. I can actually take a look at that quality experience live and kind of paint a picture of what's going on for this participant so I can, I can know and, and just understand how that call is going. I'll show you this graph a little bit more in a moment, but again, we're providing rich quality details, whether that call is live or it's already ended. I'm going to bring it to the calls data set, which is where we aggregate everything together. So endpoints, uh, call, call control, expressway C and E, where is the call going? What legs, what are the legs of a call? So if I get a, a problematic ticket and I need to quickly locate a call, I can, I can bam, search for a particular call, look for a target or a source, and I can know what hops a particular endpoint or a call is taking. Well, CUCM, we're not gonna get quality there, but we're monitoring endpoints directly, and I can see that quality, right? I'm immediately, I've identified this call in seconds, and I immediately understand, well, I've got three participants on an expressway call, and what I wanna point out here is, this call has already ended, right? Usually that data is gone. We're logging and storing all of that information for the customer so that they can take a look at a call that ended two minutes ago, two hours ago, what was the experience? And okay, we're having a major problem on the expressway right now. I got to look into that. I know where to go. I, I don't have to try to engage my network team every time. As a tier one, I, I, I have more, uh, more insight into what's happening. 
quickly go over it for the experience from an endpoint. It's similar. So depending on how that customer uh, is, is joining, right, uh, with a different experience. I love to show this, you know, uh, uh, endpoint on a call, they're reporting a problem. Okay, is that mic muted? We can tell you that. Is this display down, right? The user doesn't know what's going on, but we can tell you and give you as much information as possible. Last thing, as I breeze through the monitoring here, CDRs, right? Why did a call fail? Uh, multiple CUCM deployments all over the place, CDRs are a problem. Maybe I want to understand why a call that just ended failed. This is aggregating all those CDRs across all those call controls and giving insights into why did a call fail? If, if we had that successful call and there was a CMR there, what was the quality like, okay? So just hopping through there, lots of deep insights into the real time, as well as, again, getting that rich data even though the call has already ended, okay? I'm gonna hop in here to the analytics side because we take all that, all that rich, rich real-time data and we put it through our analytics platform where I can track trends over time. I'm actually gonna pull up an actual customer example that I thought would be valuable for this call, right? I had a customer saying, hey, we're looking to go from RMX to WebEx. How can we show the trends? I put together this dashboard in our analytics module, very flexible. We can show different views of endpoints, comparing devices, platforms. I thought this would show in a pretty good light for you all here. Look at the WebEx trending up. Great. Our RMX trending down over these last three months. Amazing, right? This is exactly the stuff you want to see. Biopta is one of our sweet spots is helping the customer transition to the better technology, which of course Cisco provides, right? Really deep insights into how the tools are being consumed from a, from a, from a data perspective, how people are joining, when they're leaving. What is the most used uh, RMX uh, user? Who are those people hanging on to that old platform? Who are, the, who are the top users of the new, right? Understanding how people are using things so you can continue to deploy efficiently, show the Cisco products in a great light. I could talk about this one for two hours because we go so deep on endpoint analysis, uh, platform analysis, making uh, reports on all this data so we can automate out, right? Send this to your exec team, uh, showing how things are being used from a weekly, monthly standpoint and automating that process. And there we go. So hopping back over to my other screen here, I want to spend some time on the rooms because this is our one of our biggest uh, areas of late. So of course, yes, the newer technology, the people count, the presence data. One, of course, I know that you all, right, we're, we're seeing this in, in Control Hub, right? One of the biggest benefits of, of Biopta here, as Jeff said, is we're plugging into the scheduler, right? So whether you're O365 exchange, we're getting all that data. We're not only getting the presence and people data and the, the exchange data there, we're also plugging this into our existing monitoring platform. So all that data on calling tied into how the rooms are being used. So if the user schedules a meeting, did they attend? So did they walk in and make a call? We're monitoring that, we know. Did they plug in a pleasant presentation and, and share? Yes, okay, that's an attended meeting. Did they just walk into the room? That's great as well, that's an attended meeting. If none of these things happen, it's a missed meeting and we can break down this data deeply and, and, and explain, well, was it just people in a room sharing uh, sharing a whiteboard session or a one-on-one, -on -one, right? What does this, this activity look like across my entire environment? And this is huge here when we talk about Coca-Cola, right? Companies like this. Cost per square foot technology in the room, right? How much of this is no activity at all? We're seeing a lot of wasted space, tech, and money, and we can start to visualize and show you where this waste is. This is one of my favorite screens because of the people booking meetings and not showing up since we're plugging into that calendaring system, who are the worst offenders, right? Realizing value immediately. Who are creating those zombie, those ghost meetings where I can clear them out immediately, immediately realize value. I can show uh, this breakdown by location. 
This is another one of my favorites. Who are showing up to those 10 person meeting rooms with two people? That's an inefficient meeting. Using that people count technology, we can start to break that out and, and explain that there. Again, realizing where waste is, showing more value. The last thing I'll show you here is, is the raw data that we're getting from the room. So in terms of not only scheduled attended missed meetings, but customers want to know about occupancy, utilization, right? Okay, I can show scheduled and attended meetings and how much the percentages were or att attended versus missed, but using that people count technology, right? For an eight person room for this time period, what was my max people count? But how much on average was that room utilized from a space percentage? In this example, only 30% of that room is utilized over this time period. So again, in a very, very short, uh, quick demo of all the modules, just explaining how we're, we're providing that rich analysis, both from a UC side and now expanding over here to the, to the rooms, to the facilities and real estate, which has been a big play lately. Great. And I'll stop there. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much.